Hello everyone, welcome to IBS YouTube channel. Today I will walk you through the step by step process of setting up Spark on your Windows operating system. Before we begin, make sure you have installed the Java development kit. If you haven't installed Java yet, please download the Java installer file from the link provided in the video description. While the Java installer is downloading, go to the local disk and create a new folder named java once the java installer is downloaded double click on it and follow the installation wizard When you reach the choose installation location step, click on change and select the path of the newly created java folder. Continue with the installation by clicking next and finally close once the process is completed. Now go back to your local disk drive and navigate the program files folder. Then open java folder, cut the jdk folder and paste it into the newly created java folder. Finally, delete the java folder under the program files directory. Go to the windows search bar and type env then click on edit environment variables for your account create a new user variable with the name java underscore home all caps and set its value to the path of the java jdk folder Additionally, click on the path system variable, then click edit and create a new environment variable by pasting the JDK bin path. Click OK to save the changes. To verify that Java is installed properly, open the command line prompt as administrator. Then type java space dash version. You should see the java version information if it's installed correctly. Now open your web browser. Search for Apache Spark. Click on the download section and select the Spark release. In this example, I will choose the version 3.3.2, select any packages type and then click on the download link. Again click on this link. Once the download is completed, you will need WinRAR to extract the files. If you don't have WinRAR installed, please install it. After extracting the spark files in the local disk drive, rename the folder as spark.
again go to the windows search bar and type env then click on edit environment variables for your account create a user variable named spark underscore home all caps and set its value to the spark installation directory path next locate the path variable in the system variables section and click on edit button create two new environment variables one for spark bin path and other for spark sbin path Click OK to save the changes. Now open the command line prompt as administrator and type spark shell to launch the spark cell. If the installation was successful, the spark cell will run. To integrate spark with python, you can either install anaconda or use vs code. In this demonstration, I will be using vs code. Open your browser and search for visual studio code. Then click on the download link to download and then install it. Once it's installed, launch VS Code and choose a theme. Then click on Done to proceed. In VS Code, click on Extensions. Search for Python extension. and then click install additionally we need jupyter notebook as well after both extensions are installed Close all tabs and restart VS Code. Once VS Code opened again, click on the file, then new file and select Jupyter Notebook. Now we need to install Python on our system. On the top right side, click on select kernel, then click on install. It will open Microsoft Store. And click on Git to install Python. If you want to install a different version of Python, go to your browser, search for Python and download the latest version from python.org website. Run the installer and follow the installation step. To connect Spark with Python, we need to install PySpark. Write exclamation mark pip install PySpark 
in a code cell and execute it using shift plus enter. VS Code will configure the kernel for the first time. Once it's done, the code will run. Next, we need to install find spark using pip. After that, import find spark and initialize the spark path, execute the code cell. Then import PySpark and Spark Season from PySpark.sql. Create a Spark session using the builder method and name it as a test. Store it as a Spark variable. In a new cell, execute Spark variable. You can click on the Spark UI link to see the Spark cluster details in the environment section. To stop the session, execute spark.stop open and close parenthesis. After that, if you run Spark in a new cell, it will throw an error. That's it for today's demonstration. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more such videos.